Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add or remove your RAM. I made a really short video to, and that link will be in the video description for if you want to know what's your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or PC. You don't need any programs or anything like that. You can check that video, it's a 30 seconds long video and to know your maximum RAM capacity. But in this video, it's just demonstration how to open, how to install it. We have upgraded this laptop up to 32 gig with no problem. We have put in two 16 gig. I'm just gonna open it up and show it to you guys. All right, first thing first, just remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the system or any configuration. It's just plug and play type. And it literally takes about to five minutes tops, I'll say three minutes to do the upgrade. I'll go over the tools that I'll be using. I will be using iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And from this tool set, we are gonna be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, go get yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this tool on hand, you're gonna get it started. Down on the bottom of the laptop, here on the bottom cover, you can see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws in here, they have a little C-lock on the other side. That means they will not come out entirely. So all you need to do is just rotate, do a few turns, and then you're going to see that the screw comes up like this and it stays. So that's what you want. You just want to rotate the one in the middle, and there's a hidden screw right inside these holes. Again, same thing. You just want to open it up and leave it like that. Just do this to all of the screws, the one in the middle too, two in the front end. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helping you to do your upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we removed, I forgot the one in the middle. Once we loosen up all the screws, you wanna grab the opening tool. We are going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest and we're just going to rotate it like this. Just pretty much twist it. Work yourself all around to the back corner. And once you got the side, pretty much it comes out. If it doesn't come out, work along the side on the front end. And then the top cover literally comes off pretty easy. Right. Now, once you got the laptop in this position, you're gonna see the batteries right there, DIM one, DIM two. There's always gonna be start with put, putting the RAMs on DIM two right in here. So DIM one is empty. Now, if you wanna do RAM upgrade, you can do it without or remove it without disconnecting the battery. But if you wanna be paranoid, you can disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward. But you don't need to do that. Now, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put two fingers on the side of the RAM right in here. And then you want to pull it aside and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you want to do, grab it in 45 degree angle and then slide it backward. And there you have it. Is it a, this one is a 16 gig, you can put another 16 gig in here. Once you get the new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIM. So if you try to put it around the other way around, let's try this way the RAM will not go through. So you have to bring it this way and you want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector jack and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these two triggers open and close softly like that. And if they open and close nice and they stay straight, that means the RAM is in place. So for example, this RAM right in here, I'll bring it in 45 degree inside the jack, pinch it right in there in 45 and then push it towards the motherboard. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chips. In this one, the RAM chips are on the other side, so that's perfectly fine, as long as the notch on the RAM matches the not cut right on the DIM. So remove again, pull it backward, and slide it upward in 45 degree angle. And that's how you add or remove your RAM on this HP ProBook 445G7. Once you have replaced the RAM, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, Bring it over, align it straight, don't move it around too much. And then push the front end down, make sure it does nice click sounds on the back. And then you're gonna start from one corner and you wanna tighten up the screw. Don't go crazy tightening it up, just firmly, but not too crazy. Okay. 
And this is how you can upgrade the RAM for your uh, laptop. If you have any question or request, please feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, the compatible RAMs, I'll leave the link in the video description so you can purchase yours in case you want some. And that should cover up this video.